In this Indiana Jones and the Great Circle news update video, we've got some big news. I will be sharing with you the likely release month for the game, plus how it could be coming to the PS5 at a later date. Before we do get into today's indie news though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on this game. So, a report has just come out which has leaked the release month for the game along with details on a PS5 version. Many people will be thinking, well, this is insane because Disney signed an exclusivity contract with Xbox over the Great Circle. However, things have changed in the last few weeks or so. During these past few weeks, there have been rumours Microsoft are going to be releasing some of their games such as Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves on the PS4 and 5 along with the Nintendo Switch. A bunch more reports have since come out in the last few days, and they claim other games on the more larger scale, such as Starfield, will be coming to the PS5. Tom Warren, who is a very reliable journalist in the gaming space, specifically in regards to Xbox and stuff, has heard from sources that Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is being looked at to release on the PS5. Despite being revealed as an Xbox and PC exclusive, Sources say Microsoft are considering a PS5 release for the game months after it launches on the PC and Xbox. This period of exclusivity is currently set to be rather short, compared to, say, the usual 12 months you do see from third-party titles such as this. We saw Bethesda do the same thing with Ghostwire Tokyo and Deathloop. They were exclusive to PlayStation for 12 months. As for when Indiana Jones and the Great Circle will release on Xbox and PC, Bethesda are tentatively targeting December 2024, according to sources that have spoken to Tom Warren. I think most of us did expect a December release month, or at least November or December, but it's just good that we've heard that now from a reliable source. In terms of specific dates, obviously we don't have that yet, but typically games release towards the start of December because of Christmas, New Year, and most game developers are out of office from the middle of December. So I'd imagine that it would be in the first week or two, similar to what Avatar Frontiers of Pandora did this year. Following that up, let's talk about the PS5 release. So it's being considered for some months after the Xbox and PC version. This would mean that Indiana Jones and the Great Circle would come to the PS5 in the spring of 2025, probably. Of course, this may all change. The game might be delayed until early 2025 if some issues in development arise. This would then mean the PS5 release would be pushed back as well. There's also a chance that Microsoft decide not to pursue Indiana Jones on PS5, they are simply still considering it at this moment in time. The CEO of Microsoft Gaming, Phil Spencer, tweeted late last night that we are listening and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week where we will look forward to sharing more details about our vision for the future of Xbox. Stay tuned. This may give us a little bit more clarity on if Indiana Jones will be releasing on the PS5, but at the same time, given that they've only just unveiled this game, I don't think they are going to be announcing it for the PS5 next week. There has been quite a lot of worry and backlash over Microsoft going multi-platform. On one hand, it's great that more people are going to be able to experience some great games, but on the other hand, PlayStation won't have competition, which leads to stagnation and higher prices for the consumer. Yes, we still have Nintendo, but... It's not quite the same in terms of comparison. They are just excelling above everyone else. The two competing companies, for the most part, are Xbox and PlayStation. You remove one out of that equation, and then you've got PlayStation to do whatever they like. And yes, it will lead to higher prices. That's just how the world works when it's going like this. I also wanted to mention that Xbox Era, who reported that Starfield would be coming to the PS5 later this year, say their sources have informed them Microsoft have made additional investments into PS5 dev kits to support ongoing development efforts. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this situation, so please do let me know down in the comment section below. Next up, Bethesda's official social media accounts have been posting portrait videos promoting the game, and this aspect ratio shows us just a little bit more in the frame of these certain clips. So 
It's only a slight improvement to the top and bottom of the frame, but still, it's a little bit more footage, and there is also this extended clip of Indy without his hat. I'm looking forward to more footage on this game, so hopefully we won't have to wait too long. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do drop a like. Subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on this game. If you did miss any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on screen right now, and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.